The smell of burning metal and playing with fire isn't what many of us think of when imagining a group of high school girls. A half dozen teens from the girls' restorative program at Denfeld High School are working with gas and electric welding machines to learn what it takes to work as a group and to generate ideas about what to do post-graduation. We all doing individual projects and we're combining them together and it's about like women coming together is like our main theme. Though she admits she was a bit intimidated at first, Denisha says she was able to get comfortable with welding the first day of the course. It's like dangerous but it's fun. I like it. It's hands on. Taking a risk and learning something new is always fun. The course takes place at the Wisconsin Indian Head Technical College. The program runs four days in all, totaling 12 hours of group-oriented training. A leader with the Girls Restorative Program says the welding opportunity gives these girls a chance at a time when many others will not. It's also a really good opportunity for girls if they were to choose to go into welding. Um, it can be a, a pretty lucrative career. School conflict and poor social interaction are reasons the teens may be referred to the program. Bantel says group-oriented interaction helps build aspirations and complete high school. We'll just we'll hand them out certificates. They get a college credit here for this course. Um, so they've got their, they're getting their student IDs tomorrow. Um, so it's kind of their first initiation into taking a college course as high school. Despite the less than feminine welding wardrobe. They look kind of boyish and like dirty, but for this, you got to kind of get down and dirty. So. They had no problem taking charge with the tools and using their imaginations. In Superior, Justin Rice for KBJR6 and Range 11. That's okay. Remember, if you leave your cut.